Mac Brown met with the media today ahead of their Holiday Bowl, and he got into the current state of college football with recruiting and name, image, and likeness. And he talked about Drake May, their standout quarterback. He'll be back next season, although there was some speculation as to whether or not he would actually come back because, hey, man, that NIL money's crazy. Who's to say that some top team doesn't go out there and throw a bunch of money at him and right. then he leaves North Carolina? And Jillio and I talked about this leading up to Drake May finally tweeting out that he's not going anywhere. It, while I understand the interest in Drake May, it never made sense for him to leave on a variety of levels. Number one, he's going to the NFL. Like, a lot of what you see oftentimes with some of the quarterback transfers is that they're postponing going to the NFL because they know they can actually make some money in college before they go somewhere and sit on a bench. I mean, look, we're watching the Myrtle Beach Bowl right now. I know Coastal Carolina is not in it. It is being played in their stadium. Yeah. Grayson McCall is a prize in mm -hmm. the portal because he knows he needs some big time exposure Devin Leary we talked about this last week Devin Leary is leaving NC State we don't know where he's going to go yet but some of the numbers that are floating around of what he's going to pull yeah from name image and likeness deals at universities is like oh yeah of course you would play another year of college football because you probably wouldn't make that in the NFL at this point I mean you look at him and Brennan Armstrong too at Virginia like yep. these guys if they were on more high profile programs certainly they would be worth the money that we are hearing they are in line to get. Yeah, so the Drake May thing, because he's going to be a top pick in the NFL draft, he didn't need to go chase a bunch of NIL money. Plus, he's a North Carolina kid. Are you telling me that he didn't go to Alabama and they decided to go to North Carolina instead and all of a sudden he's going to go back to Alabama? Right. It's not going to work out that way. His dad, his brothers, all that stuff. He's a Carolina kid. He's going to stay there. It didn't make any I, sense. I, I think the the thinking, and I'm not, I, I agree with you, but I think the thinking is... He transferred or, or he changed his commitment mm -hmm. to North Carolina because it was clear there was no unseating Bryce Young. Like, even when Mac Jones was the quarterback, Makes Bryce sense. Young was the heir apparent. Yeah. And look, you only have so many years in college. Quarterbacks should mm -hmm. do what's best for them. I, I mean, all I can think of is the thinking is, Ohio State's kind of in that situation now. Maybe. Here's Mac Brown. And this is uh, from his press conference today. He said that uh, Drake May was offered a lot of money to go other schools. Brown called the tampering. Okay. But May decided to stay. Of course, I, I sit here and I think to myself, all right, well, I'm assuming that in this game that's being played with name, image, and likeness, that Drake May isn't going to go empty-handed while he's at Carolina. <laughs> right. So you could talk about he's offered a lot of money. Well, then why did he stay? I'm guessing it wasn't out of the goodness of his heart. He's being taken care of. Yeah. Just like North Carolina's players for basketball all decided to come back. And a good reason why, on top of unfinished business, was Armando Baycott secured a lot of money to come back and to North Carolina. Look, this is more and there's true. There's nothing wrong Not with it, at all. by the way. In fact, this is more true in basketball than in football, although yeah. it is true for football as well. Like, we should be embracing NIL as the chance to build some continuity mm -hmm. and make the product better. I agree. You know, I mean, another year of Baycott in basketball, a full four years, if you can convince a kid to do that in football, like that makes your team and thus your product better. So Mac Brown continued, somebody had asked him, you know, what schools came after Drake mm -hmm. May, you know, offering him millions to transfer. And Mac Brown said, quote, I can't say that and don't ask Drake. You know who they are. Just look at all the ones who are getting all the top recruits. Okay. So I, I did Mac Brown's. A homework assignment. Yeah. I'm going to go look at the, the schools that are getting all the top recruits. You know where North Carolina ranks in um, composite you know, com recruiting rankings, wherever you go? you got to be top 15, right? The top 10. Top 10. The top 10. So I'm a, to assume that the other nine schools in the top 10 are the ones that are throwing millions around and Carolina's not? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? It's hard to believe. Cause all you have to do is ask an NC State fan. Carolina graduates love to tell you how much money they have. This is true. This is absolutely true. There are ways to go about what's going on with college football and the money that's being thrown around. And I understand for the quote unquote old timers out there. And I say that as gently as I can, because I also understand that people can look at us in our forties sure. as old timers. All right. But there's levels to this and there's old timers in football and how things used to be. Are you telling me that North Carolina continues to recruit as well as they do just based on selling a program? 
Yeah, it, it's a weird honor amongst thieves thing. It makes no sense. And I wish you would own it. And that's why I respected Nick Saban yeah. at Alabama this past off season when he, I guess, got into some hot water because he called out Jimbo Fisher at mm-hmm. Texas A&M and what they were doing. And the part that always flabbergasted me is that you and I both know that there are a lot of smart people who cover college football. And the way that it was positioned was, oh, man, Nick Saban's going after Jimbo Fisher, and he's accusing him of cheating. No, he's not. No. Because what's being cheated? There is, There are no rules. That's right. The only reason that that narrative took hold was because Jimbo acted like. Yeah, Jim, Jimbo did act like a baby, but what Nick Saban was doing at that booster event when he talked about what Jimbo Fisher was doing at Texas a and the money that they bought a recruiting class with was saying to his money boosters, Absolutely. guys, I don't want to hear about how I'm missing out on recruits because we're not poning up the cash. This is the game now. So I find it kind of, it's cute. Sure. It's cute that we're trying to position North Carolina as this place of honor and like, oh, you know, he was offered all these things that are good to go to the school, but he decided to come back here. Again, you can't say that, look at all the places that are getting the top recruits, when you're one of the schools getting the top recruits! Yeah, as we talked about the Dion thing earlier, right? Like, Dion is so good at recognizing what is available in this moment, and that's mm-hmm. what I talk about, the honor amongst thieves thing. Jimbo acting like he was so offended yeah, in that moment. I Mac know. Brown acting like that, oh, my stars, I would never do such a thing. <laughs> it's so, like, it's from such a bygone era that at some point this is going to bite these guys in the ass. It is. It is. And the thing is, if this is this is wholly different from where we used to be around this time of the year with early signing period or national signing day, uh, with the second Wednesday in February, where you could throw some accusations about money and everything right. else. That doesn't stick anymore. There's nothing <laughs> nefarious about it anymore. And there's actually one way to get rid of this. Do you want to get rid of the quote unquote tampering, name, image, and likeness? name, image, and likeness packages being more like just the school putting this out. You know, there's one way to, to solve this problem, right? Just have the schools pay them directly. Huh. Sign to, sign to a contract. I mean, uh, you know, here's the problem. I, mean, with I that, don't know. Joe. I'm just saying. But, Joe, here's the problem with that. Like, have we ever heard before about these schools making buku amounts of money off the football program? No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. But, you know, that, that fountain with the lighting effects uh, won't say, get made. Listen, I, I say this all the time. The Tuscaloosa I went to school in is not the one that exists today, and that is solely because of Nick Saban's success and the football program's success. I was in school for multiple four-win seasons. Mm-hmm. Everything that is happening to Alabama right now is owed to me, damn it. 